In the northwest of London is a beautiful park. It is not big or surrounded by royal palaces, but it is lived by all of the locals and visitors. Its name is Queen's Park. During the day, the park is filled with children running around, playing, people reading their books in the flower corner and next to the cafe. There's a painter painting beautiful pictures of this park almost every day. When the sun goes down and it gets colder, Queen's Park becomes a very different place. You may even think the park is empty as a guardian closes its gates. The complete opposite is true. After sunset, the real inhabitants come out of their hideouts. There is a fox family who lives in their fox earth, right in the middle of Queen's Park, in one of those bushes in fact. Every evening, they scavenge food from the bins that people have left behind after the long day in the park. They knock the lid off and jump into the upright bin. After their hunt for food, they had a family feast. This usually happens every single day. However, this one summer's day, Daddy Fox's face looks extremely pale and almost turns green. He whimpers that he has a very blotted store match and feels too ill to do anything. The mother of the foxes send her children to see if they can find some help. Franklin, Albert and Adelia ran out of their home desperately, looking for anyone that could possibly be able to help. They meet a flying Maggie above their heads. She asks them what happened and why they look so scared. They explained how their father is extremely sick and that they don't know how to make him better again. She nods and says she may know some animals who she heard know about this kind of thing. She sends them to go visit the grey squirrels from Hyde Park, the peacocks from Holland Park and the flamingos from Kensington Gardens. They live in the centre and they may be able to help. The three split and agree to meet back at the corner of Queen's Park once they found out how to cure him. So Franklin heads off to Hyde Park to visit the grey squirrels. Albert goes to Holland Park to see whether the peacocks know about the illness and lastly the youngest Odelia finds her way to the Kensington Gardens to find out if the flamingos have any idea how to cure her father. When Franklin arrives in the centre of Hyde Park, he calls out to see if any of the grey squirrels would hear. Surely enough, a few appear from the tree and climb down. He explains the situation with his ill, green-faced father, and the squirrels look at each other and nod in agreement. One of them steps forward and says that it sounds like the fox's father doesn't do enough exercise and cannot digest his food properly because of this. When Albert arrives in Holland Park, he searches the area for beautifully patterned peacock feathers. He spots a group of peacocks near a bench resting. He approaches them, asking about if they know how his father can be cured. They look at each other and nod. One steps forward saying that is that it is obvious what caused this is the high pollution from living in London. So because he can't breathe properly, his face turned green. When Adelia arrived in Kensington Gardens, it took her less than one minute to spot the bright pink flamingos having a bath in the lake. She runs to them and asks if they know about her father's illness and if they know how to make him better. They say it is obvious he became ill because he doesn't wash enough and that's why he became ill so quickly. All three foxes thank their friends for their advice, say their goodbyes, and each find their way back to the Queen's Park corner, all extremely proud that they found the gear to their father's illness. They approached the corner. They heard loud flapping and cat hisses. Franklin, Albert and Odelia all ran towards it from their different arriving directions. As they arrived, they see a cat attacking the Queen's Park owl, whom is the most elderly resident of Queen's Park. They hurry and pull the cat off the owl. They tug and tug with all their strength and eventually the cat meows loudly and runs away. The owl, still recovering, says it's thanks to the foxes and if there is anything that he can do for them, he would be more than happy to help. The foxes explain about their father's illness 
but then each say they already know the cure. However, once they all say they're cure, they disagree on who is actually correct. The owl stops them and says that he knows what's wrong. He has seen them eat food from the bins and that is the reason behind his illness. Even though clean air, regular wash and plenty of exercise is very important, the reason for his poorly feeling is that he has food poisoning from the off food. The foxes invite the owl to their home for tea. The owl explains why the father has been feeling poorly and suggests to the family that they move to the countryside where they have proper fresh food to eat and plenty of space to exercise. Clean air everywhere and plenty of rivers and lakes for cleaning themselves. Two months later the family of foxes are now in their new home settled in. The father is well and now hunts fresh food for the family. The children and mother daily collect fresh plants and there is most definitely no chance of getting food poisoning again in this family, thanks to the wise old owl of Queen's Park. What does the fox say? Cha-cha-cha-cha-cha! 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 Cha-